since the latest Fire Stick updates, we have got some great new features. And this is one of them with a new look, which includes content for you. It includes free content, which you can watch. And it also puts stuff together, which you can subscribe to and buy to all in one place. And it looks amazing. Remember, if this is something you may like, do remember to hit subscribe to us for free. And we will bring you everything streaming. And do remember to drop that thumbs up and drop me some comments. We're going to show you some of the new features of the Fire Stick updates. And this is one of them. So let's go. So this is a brand new update to Prime. As you will notice, uh, Prime Video has moved everything over here to the portrait style menu. Um, very similar to Android TV, um, Apple TV, things like this, where the Fire Stick itself is um, horizontal. So this will be very interesting to see if this feature comes to the Fire Stick soon. So what you get in this, this is just if you are a Prime user, folks. We've got more coming in a second. If you're not a Prime user, new features we need to check out. So what you get in your Prime video now, you get Find, you get Home, you get Store, and you get Free with Ads. You also get My Stuff if you do decide to store your stuff you've been watching or your favourites, okay? So Free with Ads, you get to scroll all your great content all in here brilliantly um, no specific adverts or anything like that this is directly in the prime tv um, app you also get settings which is actually quite useful if you need to manage your prime account and this is directly on a fire stick okay so you can do your previews your subscriptions your account your syncing all on there okay and free with ads this is on our standard fire stick which we're looking at now if you wanted to access prime video yes you have a lot of content underneath but you also, if you go to your apps, my apps, and in here you will find the logo for Prime Video. Um, let me find mine. There it is. And you just click it and it will load you in. So you can just look around it without, a bit like any other sort of movie and TV app, without having to try and search it, you can scroll through it, which makes life a lot easier when you're trying to find things. And Prime has boosted its content a lot recently. Um, they seem to be adding more than Netflix are adding. So it's very good and worth having a check out at the moment, especially with the new Lord of the Rings series and things like that. If anyone's interested in Prime, we do have links underneath for 30 days free. So do check them out. So other features we've got. Firstly, you need to check out if your Fire Stick is up to date to see if you've got these features. So go to settings, my Fire TV, um, about and check for updates. Here you can check. As you'll see, mine was last checked Tuesday, September the 13th and is fully updated. Updating your Fire Stick currently is exactly 100% safe. Everything's still working as it should. You can still install um, side-loaded apps, uh, jailbreak apps, however you want to call it. You can still do that. You can add as many apps as you can. But with the latest update, there is one issue. A lot of people will get to this screen and they are missing their developer options, okay? This developer options is not there. And if that is the case, do click on about, and in here, then click on the name of your device, the Fire TV Stick 4K Max. Mine is, you click on it seven times. As you'll see at the bottom, mine says, no need, you're already a developer. But for anybody else, click it seven times, and it will create and make you a developer, and then those developer options come back, okay? Right, other features we have noticed on some of the latest updates. If you go to your settings, go to applications, manage installed applications. In here now, we have options to clear cache on these individual apps. Okay, so you can, as you load up here, you can push the um, rewind button on your remote and you can clear the cache of that app without having to open it. Deleting this will clear 16.3K, perfect. You can also uninstall by pushing the play button. Uninstall Aptoid if you want to. Okay, and you can also, there's a slight different setting within the apps now. If you click it, down within, you have an app called, well, an option called Open Supported Links. Okay, this is definitely worth having on for either don't open in this app or ask every time. This is if your app itself wants to open a link, maybe to download an update or to download some in external content. Definitely worth having ask every time on those, okay? So make sure that's set to that. Those are the three new features within the application section. 
There's also a couple of new features um, which will help with your streaming side of things within um, network. In here now, you can check network status. And once you get to check network status, you can look at this by pushing play. So once you get to here, you can push play to check your network status. And this will connect to your network and check if there's any issues found. You can also run a speed test directly from here now, which is brilliant. So you don't really need a third party app, which helps keep your device clear. So you can delete all your third party apps for speed testing. You can also run advanced. So you can check out if there's much noise interrupting your signal. All these sort of things you would normally have to use an external app for is built into your Fire Stick. Downside is you can't delete it. So you have got extra stuff on your device. Plus side, you don't need an extra app to do this sort of work for you. So this is worth checking out to see if your signal's good. Might be a reason why you're getting a bit of buffering if you've got really high noise on it, if your signal strength's not very strong, all those sort of features on there. One new feature, which I'm 99% sure is new that I noticed had appeared. If you go to settings, go to display and sounds, right at the bottom, audio and video diagnostics. Click that one and it will tell you what your TV is capable of. Okay, so you can see audio capabilities, it will check. And you can also look at detective video capabilities. Mine is 1080p 60 hertz. Doesn't mean my 4K Max won't work, because it will. But it will tell you whether the HDR support or the Dolby Vision works. Obviously mine, lots say no because I'm plugged into a capture card to demonstrate this for you so it doesn't pick up what it should as if it was plugged into my TV. But it's definitely worth checking that out to see if your TV is compatible with your device and if you are getting the best out of your device with your TV. That's another one to check out. Brilliant. I hope all that information was useful for you. If it was, do remember to hit that thumbs up, drop me some comments underneath. Do also remember to hit that subscribe if you're brand new here and any regular watchers hit that share. Before you leave, a quick word from one of our partners. IP Vanish is a partner of ours. IP Vanish is a VPN. If you're interested in a VPN, link directly underneath is a deal for 69% off. Okay, that gives you a VPN for $3.33 a month. And we get a small commission off that if you're after a VPN. Um, we don't accept any donations here. We don't have any memberships, no Patreon or anything like that. So if you did want to support the channel, um, the best way obviously is subscribing, hitting that like, which is all free. But if you wanted to support the channel in any other way, using one of our VPN links like this is brilliant for us because we get a small commission and you get a VPN. This VPN will keep you safe online. Um, it will help you access other content. It will stop your ISP, internet service provider, throttling your speeds, if that's the case in some countries, or link directly underneath. That's down there, as well as a lot of my other socials. Do check them out. I've been Doc Squiffy. This is the Doc Squiffy channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you soon.